Hello everyone and welcome to Ira Tutorial. This is Aarti Naik and today I am going to teach you one of the very important topic in grammar that is determiner. Determiner is a word used before a noun to indicate which things or people we are talking about. That means it gives us importance of the thing and people. The words a, the words a, the, my, these, some, many, etc. are called determiners. There are many more examples of the determiners that we will see in this video that different types of determiners also. But now let us get, uh, let us get, get acquainted with determiner. For example, he is a good boy. Now here a is uh, telling us that particular that boy is we are talking about a boy and that uh, he is a good boy. The boy you met is my friend. Okay. So, the boy that means we are talking about not all boys but only one particular boy. Uh, that is the is determining that boy and my friend, my is also determining the friend. This novel is very interesting. I have some information about the accident. There were many people at the station. So, in all these examples, all the bold words are determiners and they limit the meaning of the nouns that follow them. Now, let us see different types of the determiner. Here you can see first is predeterminer. That means these determiners came before the determiner. That is why they are called as a predeterminer. Example all, all of, half, half of. Both, double, twice, quiet, rather, such, what, etc. are the predeterminers. That means these determiners are coming before determiner. Then articles, a and the are also determiners. Demonstrative determiners, these, these, that, those are demonstrative determiners. Possessive determiners, my, our, your, his, her. It's there are the possessive determiners. Ordinals, first, second, next, last, etc. are the ordinals. Then cardinals or numerals, 1, 2, 3, 10, 100, thousands, etc. are the numeral uh, determiners. Now qualifier determiners, much, some, no, any, many, enough, several, lot of, plenty of little few all both another etc distributive determiners each every either neither etc interrogative interrogative determiners are what which whose with which we can make inquiry are the interrogative determiners now let us see one by one them now here use of predeterminers are given so here you can see all the italized means what is written in italized font are example of the predeterminer. For example, all the boys. Now, all is predeterminer. Okay. He drank half of the milk. Half of is predeterminer. Like that in this example, you will see that the determiner which are used before the determiner are called predeterminers. Let us see next type articles. In articles one by one we will see about the and a and an. Okay, so let us see first about the definite article the. Now the has so many uses. So let us see one by one few of them. We can use the definite article before any common noun. For example, he threw the ball into the river. Okay. Now, here river is common noun. We use the def definite word article to refer to specific person or thing. For example, a particular person. I want to meet the principal in the school. That means I want to meet the principal. Means that particular person. The definite article is used to refer to the things that are only one in the world. For example, the moon and stars. Now, stars are many, but moon is one. 
to the moon the sun the earth we use the definite article with the word words such as school university prison etc they will visit the school on monday that means for this words also the is used because it is a particular building the definite article may be used with the countable nouns that are used in the singular or refer to the things more general if you break the law if you break the law now here law then you will be punished so this thing is more general everybody has to follow the law the definite article is used to refer to the parts of the body for example smoking is harmful for the lungs so here we are talking about the part of the body the definite article is used with the time expression i met her in the evening so i am telling specific time particular time we use the definite article before something that has already been mentioned for example i met a man at the station now already we are informing in advance that i met a man at the station the man belong to tamil nadu okay the definite article is used before the noun that is followed by the relative clause or proposal phrase relative clause means adjective clause okay the man i met at the station belong to haryana okay that means he uh, i am talking about the particular person okay but which person who belong to haryana and that's why the is added the definite article is used to refer to familiar things we use regularly she looked at the ceiling okay now this is familiar thing suddenly the lights went out the definite article is used before the date or period of time we met on the 15th of october now here this is the particular important date so the is added okay the definite article is generally used before a noun which is followed by of for example this led to the destruction of the whole village means of is used and because of that for next noun the definite article is used the definite article is used before the names of seas rivers desert mountain the ship crossed the pacific ocean the definite article is used before the names of a large public building for example they visited the taj mahal okay specific the definite article is used before the superlative adjective he is the best boy now best is the superlative adjective in the school she is the most beautiful girl in the school the definite article is used before adjectives such as rich poor deaf dumb blind to use them as a noun for example the rich and the poor went to the fair we use the definite article before the nationals of country or continent the indians are very religious some of the europeans live here we use the definite article before the names of a trains and ship the rajdhani express is very fast train now let us talk about the indefinite article that is a and an so the article a is used before the word which begin with the consonant sound and n is used before the word beginning with the vowel sounds okay now uh let us take example but some uh, exceptions are also there however some words start with the vowel letter but begin with the consonant sound so we use the article a before this word for example he is a european he is a european this is a unique okay because here y is uh, y consonant is pronounced okay there is one parent family 
he is teaching at a university okay we use an before the word which begin with the vowel sound for example the girl brought an orange he is an indian some word begin with the silent so we use an before them for example he is an honest now here we h is silent and we are pronouncing o here and that's why here n is used before honest though h is not vowel h is consonant but h is silent here and vowel o is we are pronouncing it first so he is an honest man we use a and n before singular countable noun for example kolkata is a big city the dog is an animal we use a or an before the names of the occupation his father is an engineer and he is a pilot when we use a before little and few there is a change in the meaning of the word a jew is used with plural countable noun and a little with uncountable noun few means not many while a few means small number little means not much while a little means some so meaning is same but in different word it is explained few people visit this temple now there is a little water in the bucket use we use a an before the adjective in a noun phrase if noun is there if noun phrase is there for example she is a good girl so good girl is a noun phrase before that we can use a or an she told me an interesting story so interesting is interesting story is a phrase we use an with abbreviations beginning with the following letter a uh, sorry uh, a f h i l m n o r s x they should have vowel sound for example his father is an mp so a is pronounce here he is an an nri okay she got an x ray done we use the definite article indefinite article before certain nouns consider as a single unit for example she bought a knife and a fork and fork a knife and fork the old lady has a cup and saucer in her hand now demonstrative determiners demonstrative means what which to show something okay that is demonstration so demonstration demonstrative determiners are used to talk about the person or the thing that have already been mentioned these and these refer to the things that are near and can be seen that and those are used to refer the things that are at the distance but can be seen we lived in this house for 4 years she bought these books those boys are very mischievous i like this school i made this uh, met her this week now these and that are used for singular noun and these and those are used for plural can you lift this that box would you like to buy those books these boys have done their work i have already met that man now possessive that means you you are showing your possession over it okay so here are few example he is my uncle our neighbor is a rich then let us say example of the ordinal first second next last the ordinal shows what position something has in the series for example he is the first boy who has joined the school now cardinal shows or numeral you can say where numbers are seen example there were only 10 boys in the class she lived for 80 years now quantifier that means you are showing the quantity of the thing or amount of something for example 
there were some people at the airport plenty of people would like to have your job okay then distribute each every either neither so distributive determiners refer to each single member of a group okay each is used when we talk about the member of the group individually and every when we make a general statement both are followed by the singular countable noun for example he met each guest the minister visited every flood affected area okay now neither is the negative of it, it is a negative neither member can came to attend the meeting either can also mean that people stood in either side of the road that means both the right both the side okay now interrogative demonstrative sorry determiners that is which interrogate or which ask questions to you for example what subjects are you studying which color do you like the most whose house is this so here are some exercise you have to solve i hope that each and every type of the uh, determiner uh, you you might have understood and definitely you will like to you will try this exercise already answers are given but first try yourself okay second complete this exercise also i hope that the determiner this topic is clear to you if you have any queries please write down in comment box and don't forget to sh share this uh, videos to your friends also and subscribe my channel thank you